welcome. This evening we're going to, this morning, you guys are in the morning, I'm in the evening. Welcome to this gratitude meditation. Gratitude is an emotion that arises when we expect appre express appreciation. Now, this practice that I'm going to use is a secular practice, and then I'm going to bring in some Jewish concepts of hod and hoda'a and toda. As you settle in, give your body permission to relax, closing your eyes, allowing your limbs to lie limply, your shoulders to drop, your mouth to part, your hips to settle. Now begin to connect with your breath, simply noticing the rhythm of your breathing as you inhale and exhale. As you observe, you may feel that you need to change your breathing. Don't worry about that for now. Simply keep your awareness on your breath. Now let's bring more air into the lungs, breathing more deeply. Now pulling the air to the very bottom of your lungs. And exhale very slowly, completely emptying the lungs. Again, inhale deeply and exhale deeply. As you continue to deepen and lengthen your breaths, begin to bring gratitude into your awareness. How does it feel to be grateful? What is it like to express the Express your appreciation. With your next inhale, breathe in gratitude. Imagine it flowing throughout your entire body. And as you exhale, breathe appreciation out into your surroundings, letting it touch everything around you. Gratitude in and gratitude out. Bring it deep into your body and let it flow effortlessly from your heart. If you find that your thoughts are wandering, bring them back to the breath. Once again, visualizing gratitude coming into the body with the inhales and flowing out of the body with the exhales. Expressing gratitude to Hashem for each breath as well. Now let's deepen this experience by adding some pauses to the breath. Let's find some stillness between the inhales and the exhales. First, simply notice the small pause at the top of the breath. After the inhale and the pauses at the bottom of the breath, after the exhale. After your next deep inhale, hold the breath for a few moments, staying with the stillness. Pause before inhaling again, feeling the fullness of the lungs. I will count and guide you as you breathe, extending the pauses even further. So inhale, pause, exhale, and pause. Let's go deeper now. Inhale, exhale, pause, and again, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Continue practicing this breathing, finding gratitude to Hashem for each breath and the stillness in between them. You don't often get the chance to find stillness with a relaxed body and a calm mind. 
it's easier to let gratitude in. Simply breathe and experience the sensation of appreciation. Letting gratitude wrap around you like a warm blanket, comfortable, relaxed, and grateful. So we're gonna take that to the next level. And how Hoda'ah and gratitude in this moment is important for us and what that means. I'm going to tell a story that I found on inner.org about Rabbi Menachem Mendel of college. He was called the silent Rebbe from Borka. He once looked in the study hall and he couldn't find anyone worthy enough to receive a Devar Torah that he wanted to give. So he went upstairs to his son-in-law, the Holy Rebbe, Rabbi Yaakov Arye Abnad Zarin, who was taking a rest. When Rabbi Yaakov Arye heard his father-in-law's footsteps, he got out of bed, and when the Rebbe entered his room, the Rebbe said to his son-in-law, if you will be a chassid, that is good. If not, I will flick you like a chicken feather that are flicked from the carcass. And that's what he wanted to say over to anyone who was a student, a chassid, somebody who was worthy of receiving his teachings. And there are two main components to the story. The Rebbe's short statement is he was looking, he was searching for a chassid worthy of hearing his Bar Torah. And this is two sides of the sphere, sphere of Hod, also known as acknowledgement. The first is the recognition of one's weakness and the need to be attached to Hashem, to a tzaddik, maybe to one's spouse. And it's about attachment. And this is the first explanation of the sphere, a state of thanksgiving to the source that has showered goodness upon us. And this is what the tzaddik was saying of the connection that he was looking for someone who, who he could be connected to. And the second side of the sphere of Hod was he needed someone with enough courage to fully acknowledge the truth. The very existence of such a chassid can't be taken for granted. The body Hod corresponds to the immune system. In the body, code corresponds to the immune system. This is the system responsible for defending the body and rejecting foreign identities, entities. So let's, enough of that. So let's see where this, how this applies. So two sides of hode, the sphere of hode. The first is the recognition of one's weaknesses and the need to be attached. So let's think about what that means to you each one of us. That something is missing in me and I need to be attached. And I need to acknowledge that that attachment is important and valuable. And I am grateful that Hashem has given this, this bracha, this kindness to me. And 
and a personal level, there are many people who have relatives that were taken. And some of those relatives are now free. And we have gratitude and we feel that acknowledgement and that attachment to Hashem for that connection, for that blessing, that opening up. And this showering of goodness that Hashem gave us. And the second side of Hode is finding the appropriate listener. Are we the Kali? Are we the vessels for that gratitude? And how might we hold that gratitude as an attribute? How does that gratitude connect us to the one who is the source of the goodness? And we can try an experiment. How about if each one of us comes up with three small things that we're grateful for? Take some time to think about that. Maybe they're not small things, maybe they're big things. We started out with gratitude for the breath that Hashem keeps us breathing and keeps us alive. Then you might think about gratitude for a place to and the time to sit and reflect and meditate. And you might visualize someone in your life who is a source of attachment and safety for you. And then taking that next step of Hashem being the source of safety and attachment that Hashem is always there and never leaves us even when it feels like there's Hester coming. And taking that gratitude, that hoda'a that we have, maybe we could ask Hashem for something. Maybe we've kind of 
like the Pasuke to Zimra that you start in the morning with all the praises and you say the Shema and you express your connection to Hashem. And then you get to the Shimon Esrei where there's a possibility of asking for something. And let's reflect on some things that we need from Hashem. Maybe on a personal level, on a micro level, on a personal level. Maybe on a local level, in your neighborhood or your block. And this is a time where so many people are overextended. And now that we've expressed gratitude, maybe we can ask for a relief. Small reliefs, babysitters, few extra shkalim, or maybe more than a few extra shkalim to cover the bank. And then on a macro level, ask Hashem to bring an end to this that this battle, which is the equals to the shikha, that is like being in a transition. How long can a person experience the pangs of transition before it gets to be too much? We want the baby to come out. We want the Mashiach, the revelation. A lasting peace. And we can ask for that. Hashem doesn't always give us what we ask for. We can go back to Hoda'a of praise and acknowledgement for small things that we have, starting from the breath. To a place to sit and meditate. And if you have a four-legged friend to keep you company, and some good friends, connection to each other. And thank you, Hashem, for those things. Thank you, Hashem, for the kindnesses that you give us. And then going on, after thanking Hashem and showing gratitude, and then asking again for Hashem to give us a Yeshua of Shalom. an overcoming of this spiritual and physical battle.
And then coming back to the breath and gratitude for the breath that Hashem supports us and oversees us on this personal level of giving us breath and giving us a body that supports us and gives us access to doing the mitzvahs and kindnesses for each other. And the creativities that if we can access and being able to work and support ourselves. Or whatever other kindnesses that you're noticing. And as we come to the end of this meditation, I want to thank everyone here. Thank Elliot who came and participated. Thank you. And anyone who listens to the video or watches the video. I hope that in some ways it was helpful. If it was me, I would probably skip ahead past the scripted stuff. But you may give it a try. And I wish that you will have a good day of bracha and lots of things to be grateful for and that we should all soon see the permanent Yehuda. And if we don't see that, then we should at least see a decrease, a decrease in constraint and a freeing of all of the hostages and a freeing of the exiles within each and every one of us that has constraints that, that have developed on our talents and our energies. And I wish you all a good day. And for me, since it's night, a good night. Take care.